Hey all y'all some people, welcome back to Animal Crossing New Horizons on the Nintendo Switch. My name is Kiernan, or Sweet Side of Fries. Thank you for joining me again on another amazing episode. Uh, yeah, yesterday I bought another thing of music, that's about it. I have all this stuff in my inventory ready to sell, and there's a couple cool things that have happened. I have some clips of them, so I would like to show them to you, and then we can get rolling with our day. Besides having those renovations to the brand new resident services, which we can actually look at over here, um, I got some new residents and also Tad's still around and they were acting kind of strange yesterday as well. But with that out of the way, today I'd really like to, uh, well one, we can't, we can't go in here. They're, uh, they're currently updating it to a cooler building. Um, but I really want to meet our new residents, and then we can do some, uh, some enhancing things to our, to our island as well, just to get it to, like, that next level that we've kind of been approaching, uh, over the, over the past while. So, let's just get into that. Let's talk to Tad me boy, Tad me, me Bob. What's up, Iron B? And that's his new nickname for us. You're looking pumped, slurp. Over the past couple days, I've also gotten a good number of fossils, so I think we have, at max, like six fossils left to turn in, which is really, really cool. I'd really like to take a look at those if we can today. And I saw our new resident, Audie, uh, move in. And I haven't talked to her yet, although we did kind of stalk her running around like a weirdo the other day. Uh, but she's over here, working on something. Oh, she is, she is lifting weights in the flowers. And she has the best shades on, the sporty shades. Oh my gosh, Blaze, it is like so nice to meet you. I'm Audie. Max told me about all about how lefab this island is, so I decided to move here. And it's true, this place is the best. I'm dying to learn all about you and Salty Isle, Foxtrot. Foxtrot, pretty neat. Her eyes are really cool. We can't really see them with the glasses. Um, but they're, they're really nice. They're cute. Canberra's birthday is tomorrow, and I still haven't wrapped my Prezi yet. I kind of like her, uh, her, like, trendy, trendy talk. Audie is actually uh, a new resident to this game, which it was really cool to, to get her then. I was like, ah, I gotta gotta jump on that. And also we have a resident, I don't think this is Audie's house even. I think this is someone else's house, a dude named Sherb, who's like a, he's kind of like a shy goat, sheep style resident. I, I should know what type of animal he is. Um, gonna plant this real quick. But he's cool, let's meet him too. And then there's one more named Cecilia de Bird. Oh, this is Audie's house. Duh. Sherbs is down down and around. Down here. And I think uh Cecilia is kinda stuck on uh the other part of the island right now. With Max. So that's a fate worse than death in my opinion. He looks sick. He's usually not like this. Sherb. Where did I leave those tissues? I got a lot of nose stuff that needs to be in those tissues. Oh no. I got... I'm gaining Nook Miles from witnessing a horrible travesty. Alright, I'm gonna grab him some medicine. Sherbert, I'm here for your mandatory vibe check. He just sneezed in my face. Oh, stop sneezing! Take this medicine. Jeez. For me, does it taste bad? Nah, you brought it for me, so... And you'd only bring the good stuff. How nice of you. He's a nice guy. He's he's kind of unsick now. Okay, I took it. <laughs> that happens soon, right? I already feel a little bit better. That medicine was amazing. I want to say thanks. Here's a bath towel wrap. That is that is the clothing item that we're going to give to a, re a resident of ours. Let's wear it. Yep. <laughs> got one more resident, uh, new to the island. I haven't talked to her either. Her name is Cecilia, the burb, and she should be over here. So let's go talk to her. She seemed 
pretty nice. I think the reason we uh, accepted her to our island is because she was sad elsewhere. Blaze, hi! I was inspired to move here after the last time we ran into each other. The other islanders I've met so far have been great to me, so I feel like I'm in the right place, Feathers. It's good to know you'll be nearby. Hey, that's, that's all good stuff. What's the latest? Tomorrow is Canberra's birthday. What do you think we sh uh, she was like as a baby? I can't even imagine it. That's, uh, I mean, that wouldn't be my first thought, but all right. This is their house. It looks pretty cool. I love the, the detail put into all the villager houses now, instead of just some some lame houses. They're all they're all pretty special. So we've met everybody on the island. That's, that's pretty awesome. Uh, we should definitely talk to Canberra as well today, if we find her. And that was the first new DIY recipe that I've gotten in a long time. I keep getting, like, log round table and bamboo whatever. I dropped one here. What is this? Hey, look at that. We got Red's uh, ship here. We haven't actually looked in here ourselves, um, like, on camera or anything. I haven't walked in here myself at all, so we could go and check him out. Red has been in all the games, just his role, like many others, um, is slightly different in, in this game. There's a lot of stuff in here. <laughs> well, if it isn't Blaze, a long time no see. I'm glad we have a lot of money, because his stuff is pretty expensive. You know, I gotta be real honest. I kind of think I'm falling for Salty Isle. I mean, Salty Isle wants art, and I got art to sell. Might be something to this, but I couldn't sell to just anybody. I'd need somebody I could trust, completely, as if they were family. Sounds like a scheme. And since we're basically cousins, because... And because I know you've got an eye for quality, I want it to be you. So here's the pitch, ready? At Jolly Red's Treasure Trawler, we sell only the finest. Right. And there's nothing finer than finer art, fine art and rare furniture, am I right? Of course, I can't let all these fine things just walk out the door. I gotta limit you to one piece of art per day. What the... What the heck? It's a hassle, I know, but I hope the cousin's discount will make up for it. Plus, I'll let you buy all the furniture you want. No question to ask. Okay. I thought he meant furniture and art, but he did say art, so that's good. So take a look around. We've got masterpieces by the great masters. Yes. Plus stuff for your master bedroom. Let me know if you have any questions. Cool. Cool stuff. This all looks like art to me. And then there's a black rattan armchair. We have a pro tape recorder. That could be cool for, God, uh, for my arcade room uh, off to the left. So we'll do that. It's all there. Been a real pleasure doing business with you. And then we have art. If you don't know, um, artwork can be counterfeit. I'm going to cheat because I'm a cheater. Let's just pick one out. This, this seems pretty rare. Ah, dang it. Uh, yeah, this piece of art is definitely fake. Um... It's something that I probably should have noticed, uh, but you, you never know. This is like this is a, a good example of how these can be like subtle differences to, to tell apart the counterfeits, um, but kind of silly. Ancient statue. He has antenna, <laughs> like like an alien, like pointed out. And the normal one has a, a skinnier face and doesn't have that. So that is five thousand uh, bells of waste right there. It's a quaint painting. The quainting. Yeah, and this one's fake too. Dang it. I feel like this flute boy has to be real. What, what's he called? The nice painting. That's a nice painting right there. Is it nice? Is it really nice? Nice painting. It's always genuine. Always genuine. Salty Isle discount. Same price. You got a deal. You got a deal on that one, Red. I think Max has only bought... Um, the river lady painting there's like a lady laying in a river it's from hamlet uh shakespeare play uh, i have knowledge of paintings now because i play animal crossing got a true patron of the arts we have bought one piece of artwork and that is on the way to 10 for the next next one there so that's cool he why did really why'd you sneeze on me did i did i take the sneeze from sherb and transport it to red. I'll sneeze in your face. <laughs> oh, hey, here's the last fossil. I was looking for you. Okay, so we got our four fossils. Um, I, I have the new bugs and fish uh, for the month of May pulled up. And I'm also going to look at what bugs and fish we may have missed in April. 
to see if like there's another time during the year that they can be caught. Cause that would be cool to to make up for the for the ones that we may have missed. But uh, we'll review that kind of list after turning in whatever fossils we can do today, and then also going through our selling and buying of things as we do typically. Quite splendid. That means that there are no new fossils today, and that's okay. Blathers, you still made my day. Bay. Looks like we got an arcade cabinet uh, that we can have for our arcade. And yeah, it's a new uh, Nook's Cranny. It's upgraded now. They sure do. Here's Max in his first cameo in like three episodes. <laughs> Oi! And these are just like all old things from my house that I don't really want because I have either uh, copies of things or they just don't fit at my house. So I'm going to sell all those. And that's a good number of bells for a day. So there's three different items now, like on display during a day. And these are like prime items uh, on the right. I bought a cello for 130,000 bells. Yeah, 130,000. Um, it's like a fancy cello. And then a, a chessboard for 92,000 bells. So let's see what this one is. Seems like you're interested in the arcade Mahjong game. Of course I am. 64,000. All right. <laughs> that seems good. <laughs> Outside's pretty cool. And I go through double doors. And they have two items uh, hot each day. And you can still reach this from the side. So all in all, good stuff. I am back. Sable, give me something. I was hoping you'd come by today. Here's a new thing. She gives me patterns for furniture. To make custom furniture. All of the instruments automatically tune to the music that's playing in, in your room. It's pretty cool. Oh, and I also got this film projector to like add more chaos into the room. Does look cool. It's getting chaotic. It's getting arcade-like. You know how people are always posting like, 500 bells a turnip, come to my island. That's a thing, like on the Animal Crossing subreddit. Um, there's also a, a crappy Animal Crossing subreddit, where it's just like, just crap, like everything bad. Like people just show off their like messy yards and stuff, and it's like, for those people who don't play the game as well as others, because people show off like their crazy stuff in regular Animal Crossing uh, subreddit. And then it was them in there, in the Nook's Cranny, and it's like, selling bells at zero bells a turn. <laughs> come to my, come to my island, please give me 50 Nook Miles tickets. All right, welcome to a new segment. It's called uh, reviewing all of the new bugs and fish that are in the month that we are currently in. This segment is over May. Uh, so yeah, I've caught a couple things. I guess I could pull those up right quick um, that are new you know, to this to this time. First one being this one. We saw this one last episode. It's the Great Purple Emperor. Very pretty looking. Uh, and I think also this one's new, the Peacock Butterfly. I didn't manage to catch that one on camera last time. Uh, it's actually been around for a long time, since the start of March, when we got the game. So, I think it was just a really rare catch, but we caught it, and that was awesome. Uh, and then this one, the Diving Beetle, uh, Freak of Nature. Uh, we may have seen that last time. And I also caught a Pond Skater. Um, so... Of those, those those three are new. Uh, and besides that, we need the Queen Alexandra's bird wing, which is a crazy butterfly. I remember catching one in Wild World, and it was intense, uh, even though we weren't camping there at the time. And then also the violin beetle. Oh, the banded dragonfly. We need that. It's different from the darner dragonfly for reasons. Um, and then the violin beetle and the Rosalia Batsy, Batsy beetle. They're both on tree stumps all day, so we should come across it. And then the scorpion. Uh, we need to catch that as well, uh, which can poison you similar to a tarantula. Um, as for the fish, we don't have any new fish uh, of this month 
uh, but we also have a screenshot for that. Largest one being the Mahi Mahi, which I really want to catch and put in my house because it looks awesome. Uh, that's Piers All Day with the largest shadow. And then the giant Trevally. I've never seen that type of fish before, so we'd have to see what that looks like. Catfish. Uh, a betta, which is different from betta fish. This is the Neon Tetra. So let's just call it a betta, but it might be betta. Uh, <laughs> then a nibblefish. Uh, rainbow fish. And a frog. And the angelfish that is in the river from 4 p.m. to 9 a.m. Cool stuff. Uh, so that means we have a lot of catching to do. Of a lot of different things. Um, basically, we're at the time for this episode, I think. It, it might be a little shorter uh, of an episode, but I do want to walk around, do some catching and stuff. Today was more of a laid-back day, getting ready for the town hall upgrade. Uh, that will happen tomorrow in-game, um, which coincides with real-life time, but not upload time. Yada yada. Let's see if we can catch any of the bugs or the fish that are new to me. Mom and Jordan uh, and Frank and Blake all thought your house was funny. Well, well, first off, you just have garbage, like, all over your main room. <laughs> <laughs> well, in your front right corner, there's, like, incense, something smoking on the floor, an electric scooter with its lights, like, blaring in the in, in your dark room. Let's, let's take a look real quick. <laughs> they also thought it was funny you had hatchets and weapons, like, outside of your home. Yeah, we got candles and incense on the floor. They just thought it was funny that you had a random tambourine on the floor. Your scooter. And then the light was blaring. At the time, I think the lights were off. Or I thought they were. Yeah, and they thought your turtle room was, was pretty funny, too. Of them all worshipping a turtle. <laughs> Honestly, screw this tree, dude. The tree can die. You die. So that's a stump now, not a tree. That's how trees work. Bees can die. Oh, these can die. Stumps are still like a thing here, but the trees kind of obstructed a lot of the view. So this could be good. All of them. I think that would look worse than you than you think it would look. Let's put them here. Who cares? <laughs> oh, oh it was right there. what was it? That was the violin no, it wasn't. No. Yes. No. <laughs> I actually don't know. Brown beetle. 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 See, that's the violin beetle. No, the other one was not with that. Nah, nah, nah. It did not look like this. This one looks like a violin. That's why it's called that. Yeah. Shoot her down. Tree. <laughs> Oh, it looks like a violin. <laughs> Treasure hunt. Yeah. First off, do you want to hear the rules? Sure, he wants to do a treasure hunt. Here's how to play a bird some treasure. If you find it within the time limit, you win. You'll have less time than normal, though, so it's going to be a little harder. Because I've done this once before, before him before. Got three minutes. You lost? I had ten minutes last time. Three minutes is not a... Yeah. Because I... You did... You had five? Because I did ten the first time. You probably did five. And now I have three minutes? But you lost, so... Oh. Well... Well... <laughs> you lied to me outright. And expected me to... What is that? Yeah, sunset. No, that was a Raja Brook. Raja Brook. That's a darner. I was looking at the bug. I don't give a K about the fish. Okay, it's not done here. Gomez, don't eat that. You'll puke it up. I still don't know if fossils can go on the sand. Have you ever seen a fossil on the sand? I run fast. Be there. 
Go up to up. Go up to the up. Go, 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 go. We're almost at halftime. This ain't good. Um, okay. Let's check the highest points. I've done this loop before, so I know how to, how to do the tall part quickly. Go down here. Get a full check of this area. Get a full load of that guy. Over here. Oh yeah, that would suck. I think they only drop shoots on certain days, though. Yeah, I bought a piece of art from them. When you when you bought it, did it? Yeah. Does it come in the mail? Okay. I didn't read that part probably. Okay, it's not up here. I know. I'm going fast. Tad, why'd you gotta give me a small time limit like that? Boy, why'd you do me like that? I guess the shovel's the only thing I'd need at this point. Okay. Da, 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 da. You better run fast. I'm not gonna find it. I think it's up the side here. Sorry, pansies. It's Audi, like a melody in my head, and it's not here, and I'm gonna die. Na 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 na, tre treasure trove. Probably not. I don't really know. Oh, oh, oh. Seven, six, five, four. Ted, you cheated. You cheated. You put it somewhere I didn't look. Ah! Gotcha. <laughs> I'm, gonna, I'm gonna lose it. <laughs> Are you kidding? I got it. Look, Tad, I got the treasure. <laughs> you found it. Good for you. But the buzzer already went off, so I win. Can't let you keep that. What? Get that. I had it. It's all practice for next time. Get that search time down, and you've got this. I should have talked to him before I got it, and then just snag it and open it. Did I not look there? Look, it's front and center out of the gate. <laughs> Those are more challenging with, with a shorter time limit. Believe it or not. It's probably not going to go below three minutes. I could barely do my whole island in three minutes. It'd be a lot quicker if I got, like, uh, bridges. Yeah? And ramps. And ramps. Wamps. Dedicated wamps. <laughs> Believe it or not. The beetle gets its name from its shape. Okay, that'll about do it for this episode of Animal Crossing New Horizons on the Nintendo Switch. Switch. With your host, Sweet Side of Fries, thank you for joining me again for episode 12. Next time will be episode 13. Anyway, have a good day. Yeah.